So today we are going to talk about something that is <laughs> probably now uh, has gained a status of a secret because so many people in the fitness industry now are like trying to make this uh, lean gaining, main gaining, recomp stuff uh, too much important than it actually is and uh, they try to paint a picture that pretty much you can do this all the time, always that people actually forgot what <laughs> maybe not even know this is why I'm trying to say that it, it seems like it's a secret uh, that they even for forgot what actually works so if your goal which I'm assuming you, it is your goal here is to gain as much muscle as possible and as much uh, strength as possible in the shortest period of amount of time your, it's in your interest to go on a proper bulk not dirty bulk, I'm not saying you can, you know, you can eat crap I don't care, I'm not judging you uh, uh, so many muscles have been built on uh, on pizzas and hamburgers it doesn't really fucking matter what you're eating pretty much when you're on a bulk uh, but you know it's in your interest and for your health reasons that you eat as best as you can so my kind of rule when I'm bulking it's like the, for my 80% of my diet to be clean and 20% I can eat crap if I want to which usually uh, <laughs> It's not really reverse, but usually, you know, I'm eating a lot, probably a lot more crap than I should have. But uh, everybody does this, even if, even if they don't admit it, you know. But uh, yeah, essentially, it's in your interest to have a considerable amount of weight gain, if especially if you didn't have so far. Now, obviously, even this has its limits. And main gaining, recomp, lean gains have their limits and big bulks also have their limits so let's just cover briefly, very briefly because I don't want this video to be like too long because none of you are actually watching the best videos maybe 4% of you actually made it to the, to the end of the video so let's, be, let's try to be as quick as possible here I'm trying to be focused so uh, lean gains, recomp, however you want to call it, doesn't really fucking matter, it's the same thing it's only possible in, pretty, in very few scenarios basically if you're, if you're really overweight if you're under trained or detrained detrained really means that if you're training in the past and now you're just gaining the muscle back or you are a really a beginner so you can be a beginner even if you're training for a really long time so some people who train, for example, for 10 years and have very little results, they conclude that this is because they have bad genetics or something like that. This isn't necessarily true. It can be that you just, to be honest, and I'm trying to be as short as possible here, you just trained like crap, you were inconsistent, undisciplined, and your nutrition was also all over the place and inconsistent. So this is why this is when you can actually be a beginner even if you have been training for 10 to 15 years and to be honest you can see a lot of those guys in the gym uh, on a daily basis you can see them doing just spinning in circles all of the time on the flip side you can see guys who achieve in like one to three years uh, a considerable amount of muscle mass and weight and weight gain and strength gain in let's say one to three years you know and this is possible especially if you are taller you can actually build a lot more muscle relatively to shorter guy so some people think that just because you're tall you can you know you can actually build more muscle in a year in scale weight than shorter guy in proportional weight not maybe because for example if you're a tall guy you gain five kilos of muscle 5 kilos of muscle on your body is gonna look a lot less than 5 kilos on a shorter body, on a smaller body. And if you are a taller guy, when it comes only to numbers, not proportions, in my opinion, you should bulk a lot more. 
This is why also when people start mentioning uh, body, body weight to strength ratios, it completely falls apart when you take in consideration uh, your height. Because the taller you are, your body weight is going to be bigger anyway. Uh, you know, bigger overall anyway. This is why when you're taller, your concern shouldn't ever be uh, your body weight, weight to strength ratio. It's completely pointless. Almost completely pointless. And now, you have to understand that even if you're bulking really hard, like extra hard, every bulk has its limits. Because obviously there are negatives to bulking. Like, obviously, you're gonna look shittier because you're gonna gain, gain a lot of fat and you're gonna uh, basically, you know, be unhealthier even though you're gonna be healthier than most of the people because, relatively speaking, to other people who are not even training and not even paying attention to food and like smoking cigarettes and drinking alcohol every day you're like super healthy, believe me but yeah, obviously, in general when you're gaining weight, it's less healthy than if you're be like leaner. But just know that yes, you're definitely gonna gain a lot more body fat than you want to, but also you're gonna gain a lot more muscle and strength than you thought. And if your goal is to basically maximize your uh, strength and uh, muscle mass journey, fitness journey, you should be bulking pretty hard, especially if you're younger, especially if you're a beginner. Because in the beginning stages, you're gonna build the most muscle, uh, uh, you know, possible. So, essentially, uh, you can build, so this also has a lot of, you know, shades of gray. But in the beginning, you can just look at it this way. You're either bulking you're, or either cutting. There is no in-between. And uh, yes, you know, lean gains and uh, recomp exists. But as we said, in only pretty much three scenarios. Even if you're really fat, you, have, you carry a lot of body fat. Uh, if you're a beginner or if you are basically detrained or you haven't been really uh, having a proper training plan. So this is also the reason why some people, when they transition to powerlifting, they actually accomplish two things that are really important. They start to eat really, really uh, a lot and they actually uh, land on a program that is, and they start to be consistent. So this is why a lot of people actually connect, uh, you know, strength to muscle gain which in reality they probably just you know started uh, cover these two other things which is they basically started training pretty much properly for the first time in their life and with proper intensity because powerlifting pretty much forces you to train with a lot of intensity because it's heavy weights and they usually people me included who start doing kind of any strength training program they start uh, eating a lot so yeah, booking fucking works. It's what I'm saying. I have a few simple rules about booking and cutting because booking has its limits, and you have to understand that how much you book depends on your level of advancement. And as we said, you can train for like 15 years and be you have really a lot of your training age, but your level of advancement is basically a beginner. And you want to be a beginner, because if you're a beginner, this means that you can still gain a lot of muscle mass. Even if you're in your 30s, you can gain a considerable amount of muscle mass, but it probably would be a relatively smaller amount of muscle than you would be gaining if you would do the same when you were 20, if that makes sense. So now, understand this, that when you go on a book, the book has its limits. And if you're a beginner, you can book a lot harder than you would if you are advanced. For example, me, in my case, it doesn't really make sense to go on a really extreme book right now. The only case if I would go like on an extreme book currently, it's 
if I were to chase specifically just strength. In that case, I would bulk like there is no tomorrow because it's pretty much undeniable. It's <laughs> it's co almost one to one correlated. If you're gaining body weight, you're gonna gain strength. I don't know why it is, man. Everybody knows this. Like you're gonna gain fucking strength. So this is the only scenario in my case. Me, who is pretty much advanced, dude, uh, would go on and like extreme bulk like considerable amount of uh, body weight and it would be really unhealthy for me to do that also but yeah this was pretty much the only case but it doesn't really make sense if i want to uh, achieve even more muscle mass because uh, you know it is what it is you know i'm pretty much hitting my genetic limit like maybe not super much near but yeah definitely it's not the same when I was in the, in, in the intermediate, also I'm 33 years old, so what can I really expect here? Like, I maybe have like two to four proper books in my life left in, in my fitness journey. But if you are young and a beginner, you should book pretty hard. And most likely you're not objective how much you can actually gain muscle, because you you never knew and you never went on a proper uh, on a proper boot with proper amounts of protein and healthy food and with that you should go also on a proper training program so training program is actually a, a really important key when you go on a book because if you're booking and you are training for example muscle group only once per week doing like high intensity training, you know, routine of Mike Menzer, you're just gonna gain fat. Like, let's be fucking honest here. Like, uh, Mike Menzer, you know, and Arthur Jones, I really bought into one point in my life uh, their, you know, philosophy. And philosophy is actually you know, pretty good, sounds good on paper, but it simply doesn't really work that well. You know, if you're doing only one set per failure per week, even longer than that, that's just fucking crazy. You're not going to gain muscle that way. So if your training isn't good, in other words, if your training isn't really well constructed and you try to go on an extreme bulk, just know, I'm warning you, you are not going to gain a lot of muscle mass and most of it most of your body weight gain is going to be fat. Just understand this. So don't come around here and blame me if you were on a, if you went on a considerable, uh, considerable bulk and basically you just gain fat. You're going to gain fat anyway, but at least if you're gaining fat, you want to gain muscle also and strength. Because here is the deal, man. When you're natural, Let's be like perfectly honest here. There is only one thing, there is only a few things you can do. You cannot just blast if you, if you stop uh, progressing, which is most likely like, even though they try to make it seem like they know what they're doing, most likely people who are on gear just like start blasting more when they stop progressing. And that's most likely true. So, but when you're netty, you cannot do this. The only thing that you can blast is training intensity, discipline, and food. Basically, your food is your steroids. So, if you now think that you didn't progress so far as much as you wanted to, I'm really want to like. This is a video of me pretty much selling the big book, you know. For people who there are going to be more videos because this video is probably already too long there are going to be more videos that in which i talk precisely how to book and how much and for who and for if you're advanced how much but if you're advanced you probably are not going to watch this video but for beginners and intermediates when to book when to stop but just know this this shit works if you didn't try this so far maybe you should consider doing a big bulk, especially if you are really uh, 
serious about gaining weight. If you're not serious, you can just look good and you know pretty much not gain muscle. But if you want to gain a considerable amount of muscle, you know, I actually have some muscle. I am basically trying to tell you here that that shit works and it works and most likely the reason why you haven't really progressed so much is first of all because in because basically basically i don't want to say this but you were being a pussy and you didn't really want to gain as much weight as possible even though you know it's unhealthy and you're gonna be ugly and look like shit but you're gonna gain muscle and strength anyway and you weren't you didn't you weren't committed to it so you stuck as soon as you saw some uh, body fat you were like oh my god i don't want you know what you're gonna gain body fat and pretty much every good bodybuilder was fat so yeah this is actually if you didn't know so far uh, pretty much anybody who is big was fat at some point you know and i completely understand if you were uh, fat before in your life this is like pretty emotional thing for you because uh, usually people who are in the fitness and they want to progress they are scared of the bulk and this goes both ways somebody who was always lean which was me i hate being fucking lean because i feel like i'm too small which is fear of smallness and fear of being fat you know but that's also a completely other video and i pretty i think i mentioned this in my last video or some of my videos so yeah, most, uh, if you like this video, like the video, maybe, if some of this helped you or at least motivated you, uh, comment down below, say what you want me to talk about. I will definitely talk about more about specific stuff, what to do and when to bulk and how to bulk. But you know, there, uh, this is always almost 20 minutes long video. So yeah. See you guys in the next video and I'm going to try to be even more consistent. Peace and bye.